A Protest Guide for People Power 1 Chapter 1 Protest to Bring the People Power Program into Existence If you can mobilize a million people, you win. Start by saturating social media with demands for the People Power Program referendum wherever you live. In order to build momentum, you need thousands to millions of people saying we want this PPP referendum in our country right now. Go on X, YouTube, Facebook, etc. saying you want the PPP referendum right now. In any country, several big activist group leaders and radio talk show hosts have the power to get a million people to show up for a rally slash sit in at the main government building. Have a million person march slash sit in at your government buildings where the one single demand is for the government to create a website in your country called something like People Power Gov. The citizens will log in, type in their social security or social insurance number then type in their zip code slash postal code to establish this as their future password then vote on this question. Should we abolish the Senate and replace it with the online voting agency where people will vote on big important issues that the President slash Prime Minister and Congress slash Parliament come up with plus the people will come up with their own ideas and vote on them? Yes. No. If the government blows you off and won't agree to hold a national referendum then the time for goodwill is gone. The people have the right to pursue self-determination. This is the time to replace representative democracy with the people power program, the people creating ideas and voting on them online. The big press conference. The next step is the press conference. Organize a small group of high status people in your country something like the heads of the unions, minority groups, senior citizens, activist groups, radio talk show hosts and pop culture celebrities with activist causes. Get them all to show up in together in a room then film each of them as they step up to the microphone and say we want the people power program in their own words. This is broadcast live on TV and on the internet. There is one specific demand, do a referendum for the people power program now. Should we abolish the Senate and replace it with the online voting agency where people will vote on big important issues that the President slash Prime Minister and Congress slash Parliament come up with plus the people will come up with their own ideas and vote on them? Yes. No. This is an ultimatum to the government to hold the referendum within a week. The activist leaders and prominent activist media people stand close together. Going from left to right, everyone gives their name, the organization they lead and says in their own words that we demand that the government set up the People Power Program referendum immediately within seven days. Everybody repeats the same demand one by one. The press conference has to be rehearsed. We want it to go off smoothly, clearly, and simply. The activist leaders at the press conference tell the government, our representative politicians, they must set up the website peoplepower.gov within seven days and have it hooked into the national ID number database so that every adult over 18 can go on and cast exactly one vote. This is not hard to do. E-voting software is easy to set up. You have to spell it out in simple exact terms so that government leaders can't claim they don't understand what you're talking about. You have to give a direct ultimatum. If they don't do this within seven days, you tell them that you will put the call out to your members and citizens at large that you will occupy the main government building and take over the government. The government will probably mount a big publicity blitz on TV against this peaceful revolution just like I watched the Canadian government claim that the truckers protesting vaccination mandates were a bunch of right-wing, racist criminal malcontent Nazis. If the government ignores you, supporters come from everywhere to continue to surround the main government building. They will enter the main government building and occupy it. This will all be live on the national news and online. Call the sit in the peaceful revolution. After the government rejects, the demand to have the PPP referendum, order your people to surround and occupy the main government buildings. It has to have momentum like the Arab Spring, the Ukrainian Spring, Sri Lanka, the Ottawa truckers, etc. It has to be the biggest peaceful revolution ever in your country. There have to be a lot of people there to show they have power. When a lot of people are gathered around the main government building, 
The activist leaders and radio TV talk show hosts stand on the steps of this building surrounded by throngs of citizens and make an announcement saying you are relieving the current government of its power because they are not doing the will of the people. When you're on the steps of the main government building to start the revolution, say something like. The current government does not serve the people. We, the people, right here, right now are exercising our rights to take democracy back. We order the current government to stand down until the People Power Program referendum is done. We order the military and the police to keep civil order as usual. Do not interfere with this peaceful referendum. You will tell the military and police to continue keeping the peace and not to interfere with this People Power Revolution. You will go into this government building, set up the referendum and run it from there with the media recording it all. If your president, prime minister and government do not publicly come forward to set up the PPP referendum within that week, this means that they are disobeying the will of the people and are therefore relieved of their authority. This will be your declaration of independence. This is a much bandied term that has taken on a cliché effect, as though United States is now a great nation because of this declaration of independence in 1776 but almost nobody knows that the American Revolution was funded by the private bankers of the time in order to replace the British monarchy with them controlling the world's money supply. Thomas Jefferson said every generation should have a revolution to clean the corrupt, old gang out. I say every nation in the world needs a new declaration of independence right now. Keep fighting peacefully one. Millions of people from all across the country show up. It's like that scene at the end of the movie V for Vendetta. Loads of people come from everywhere. It's the only real power we, the people, have. We can stop these oppressive governments if we unite in one big show of solidarity. Your power is in your ability to get large amounts of people there and to keep them there. This requires good logistics. You need food, water, bathrooms, live entertainment, etc. Get musicians to show up to entertain the people. Imitate what the people in the Ukraine, Egypt and Sri Lanka did. Do what the Ottawa truckers did. They created a community. Local supporters brought them food, shelter, etc. The Ottawa truckers ended the coronavirus shutdowns. Governments all over the world saw the tenacity of these truckers in the middle of winter then knew they could not fight large throngs of people so the pandemic disappeared very quickly. Ottawa truckers had an advanced infrastructure. They had an online trucking community. Several people got together to create an HQ in a building where they managed the rally. They would create an idea and send it out by email slash Twitter X quickly so everybody knew what was going on and stayed united. In order for this to work, several activist type groups have to get together in advance, tell their members and supporters that they're going to hold the press conference to demand the people power referendum to change the government then get the people ready to mobilize to the main government building when the government box. The government won't listen unless you get in their way. They have to know the people mean business. It can't be an empty threat. In the Soviet bloc, the government ignored the people until several million occupied the Polish shipyards. That's what scared them. They knew they couldn't kill them all. I saw the police quell an uprising in Azerbaijan. The police won because there were not a lot of people there. Several buses of cops in riot gear, drove up, got out with nightsticks and started beating the people. The people dispersed. You need so many people that they could easily jump on a company of soldiers and take their weapons. Police can disperse up to a thousand people with violence. Beyond that, the people can jump the police and take them out. It doesn't matter if a cop is decked out in riot gear. It makes him immobile. If you got 3,000 people there and 200 cops, the people can jump all of them easily and take their weapons. No violence just take their shields and sticks. Keep fighting peacefully too. It's a fight against politicians, bureaucrats, bankers, and everyone who has power and money. They want to keep it and dismiss any uprising as a few angry, misguided, low-life people but if you get overwhelming numbers of people standing together, 
you become the government and defeat this 1% hiding behind a fake veneer of respectability and stability. The people have to show up in droves. That gives them permission to take over the government, the power of the people all united in one place in the flesh together to dethrone the fake representative democracies we've been sold as being freedom for a long time. This is the concept for major revolution that will work as well as any idea out there short of fielding an army and starting a war. Representative government has had its day. In the era of the internet, we can set up a system for the people to rule themselves. Beware of their dirty tricks. Government insiders will try to use some document like the National Constitution or Bill of Rights as the undisputed authority of national law. They will say you cannot abolish the Senate because it's in the Constitution or an amendment. You counter by saying we are the people right here, right now. We are the Constitution right now. We supersede the old laws. Those documents were created by good people in a past era meant to be superseded when new people come on the scene with better ideas for the current time so when they try to flaunt some old document as the final authority, tell them we, the people, are the final authority right here, right now. This is the new revolution to change a corrupt, broken system. This is our declaration of independence. We are kindred spirits with the great people who had the guts to create this nation. You are trivial, corrupt bureaucrats. Go away now with your trivial papers or we will arrest you for stealing the nation's wealth. You will stay in jail until your trial whereupon you will have to explain all the frivolous, useless things you spent the nation's money on and you will have to explain why you did not help poor, homeless people. Dealing with the military. The military is made up of the people, not elitists. They will support the people when they see them in large numbers setting up a peaceful referendum to improve the country. They will have no choice. They can't kill innocent people en masse just for protesting an unfair government. If they do, they will most likely be overrun by the large number of protesters. If they kill innocent people, at some point in time they will be accountable for war crimes. There will be cameras everywhere filming everything.